Hello everyone and welcome back to my playlist of pathology. This we are doing from Medium Robbins and we are discussing disorders of lung which is chapter number 13 and today's topic is going to be atelectasis which in simple words you can label it as collapse. Collapse of what? Collapse of the um, these round bubbles and these bubbles are alveoli. So if alveoli collapse, this is what we call atelectasis. Okay, atelectasis, also known as collapse, is loss of lung volume caused by inadequate extension expansion of air spaces. So obviously, imagine uh, this is your lung and it contains a lot of alveoli. If the alveoli are collapsed, uh, this lung spaces are going to shrink because there are no more, uh, you know. Uh, expanded version of the alveoli so atelectasis is equal to reduce in lung volumes okay it results in shunting of inadequately oxygenated blood from pulmonary arteries into the veins thus giving rise to ventilation perfusion imbalance now this is very important concept to understand when we say ventilation perfusion imbalance that basically means ke dekhe usually kya hota hai ke aapka ye jo alveoli hai us alveoli ke aas pass there is a blood supply so from the alveoli we are getting ventilation because air is coming in and getting out and from the blood vessel we are getting perfusion so that's a perfect match that's called a balance between ventilation and perfusion ki janab har alveoli ke paas ek blood supply blood vessel maujood hai for the exchange of gases if this happens then this is simply called ventilation perfusion match so this is ventilation perfusion match and if for any reason this alveoli is now collapsed the blood vessel is there but the blood vessel and the alveoli they are not participating in gaseous exchange this is what we call ventilation perfusion mismatch or ventilation perfusion imbalance so there is shunting of blood blood is still passing but there is no gaseous exchange okay on the basis of uh, the underlying mechanism the distribution of alveolar collapse which is called atelectasis is classified into three major categories and what are those categories the first one is known as resorption atelectasis ab iski details main aapko samjhata hu the other one is called compression atelectasis and the third one is known as contraction atelectasis so ye teenon ko samajhna bada zaruri hai this all has to make sense otherwise um, there will be difficulties in understanding the later pathology so what is resorption atelectasis it occurs when an obstruction prevents air from reaching the distal airways any air present gradually becomes absorbed and alveolar collapse follows the most common cause of resorption collapse is obstruction of a bronchus now what's happening okay, for any reason you know the tree is like this there is trachea from the trachea there are primary bronchi and then so many divisions and then at the end there is a alveoli so if at the bronchus level there is an obstruction so what will happen okay, down there say for example ek bronchus किसी वजह से अब्स्ट्रक्ट हुआ है सो उसकी जितनी भी फर्दर स्मॉलर डिविजन्स हैं ब्रॉन्क्योल्स हैं वहाँ एयर सप्लाई नहीं होगी ना बिकॉज दिस इज नाउ ऑब्स्ट्रक्टेड सो एयर विल नॉट एंटर हेयर सो विद द पैसेज ऑफ टाइम वॉट विल हैपिन कि यहाँ जितने भी एलविलाय होंगे जो इस ब्रॉन्कस से फीड हो रहे थे उनमें जो एयर थी वो एब्जॉर्ब हो जाएगी इन टू द ब्लड एंड नाउ दिस विल कोलेप्स सो द कोलेप्स इज बेसिकली बिकॉज ऑफ एन ऑब्स्ट्रक्शन and this type of collapse is known as resorption collapse okay so resorption atelectasis most frequently occurs post operatively due to intra bronchial mucus or mucoproteinic plugs but may also result from foreign body aspiration asthma bronchiectasis chronic bronchitis any tumor which compresses bronchi so uh, i mean these are all the reasons by which a bronchus can be blocked read them again it can be asthma it can be a foreign body kisi ne koi coin le liya wo yahan ja ke phas gaya so if the airway the proximal airway this is what we call proximal airway if proximal airway is obstructed at this level then the distal airway collapses this is called resorption atelectasis okay then there is another category of atelectasis which is known as compression atelectasis what does that mean it is usually associated with accumulation of fluid blood or air within the pleural cavity 
A frequent cause of pleural effusion, I mean, this can be because of any infection, tuberculosis, whatever, but there is liquid in the pleural cavity and also in congestive heart failure. So what will then happen if there is a pressure? If this is your lung and this is your pleural space, is pleural space can there more than normal fluid jam out. It will obviously compress your lung tissue. Or jab lung tissue compress hoga, there are chances for atelectasis to develop. Leakage of air into pleural cavity, which is pneumothorax, also leads to compression atelectasis. Basal atelectasis resulting from a failure to breathe deeply commonly occurs in bedridden patients, in patients with ascites. So basically, अगर हम बात कर रहे थे कि देर वॉज ऑब्स्ट्रक्शन इन द प्रोक्सिमल एयर वे और डिस्टल एयर वे कोलेप्स हो रहा था रिजॉर्पन एटिलेक्टिस आपको इसके साथ एसोसिएटेड डिजीजेज उनकी एग्जाम्पल्स मैंने बता दी नाउ द स्नैरियो दैट वी आर डिस्कसिंग इसके लंग के अराउंड जो प्लूरल कैवरी है दैट प्लूरल कैवरी कंटेन्स आइदर एक्सेस एयर और एक्सेस ए फ्लूड विच कैन बी विच कैन बी एनी फ्लूड बिकॉज ऑफ इन्फ्लमेशन इट कैन बी ब्लड इट कैन बी पर्स वॉर एवर सो दिस एक्स्ट्रा वॉल्यूम हेयर will compress the lung and such atelectasis is then labeled as compression atelectasis then there is contraction atelectasis it occurs when local or diffuse fibrosis affect the lung so there are so many diseases jisme lung tissue jo hai wo actually fibrose ho jata hai and obviously jab lung tissue fibrose hoga then we will lose the alveoli which are present there this is also considered as a collapse of alveoli and this is called contraction atelectasis okay now atelectasis Usually, uh, we are talking about atelectasis. Two other types, other than contraction atelectasis, is potentially reversible. Because if the fact that fibrosis is there, then this one is reversible. Not possible. But the other two are that if you remove the extra fluid, for example, from here, the, the lungs will expand again. Similarly, if there was a foreign body stuck in it and there was a resorption atelectasis, if you remove it, then things will be reversed. So atelectasis, apart from contraction. Atelectasis can be reversible if it is treated promptly. Otherwise, that can be a problem, and you can lead to a collapsed lung. Right now, why um, we are teaching you all this? Because in many of the pathologies, we will be talking um, very frequently about this concept of atelectasis. So, tab me ye bar bar baat kar raha hoga ke atelectasis, atelectasis, resorption, atelectasis, contraction, atelectasis. So, us waqt shayad me explain na kar raha hoon. at the outset of the chapter you should know ke what type of uh, atelectasis you should know because agla jo topic hum start karenge that will be about acute respiratory distress syndrome and uh, so many other diseases jisme word atelectasis bar bar use hoga so wait for my next video on lung pathology i'll see you soon take care of yourself